Are you an indie artist? Do you enjoy creating? Would you like to hear tips and advice that could help you elevate your career? If so, tune in to Surviving as an Indie Artist podcast. The link for the show will be posted in the description box. So, okay. So, first things first, uh, thanks for taking the call with me. I appreciate it, especially considering everything that's going on. Um, So, tell us who you are and what it is that you do. Well, my name is Kurt Copeland, and I have been uh, a friend of yours and uh, a fan of yours, and, and I've loved performing and playing with you and being around you for, uh, I, I was just going to say, what, about five years, if that seems yeah. not right? Yeah. And, um, and you know, and, and obviously we we both have busy lives, and, and we don't get to hang out as much as we used to yeah. um, when we first met, but, but you know, I, I God willing, if we get to, we get to stay uh, at it, um, with the things being the way they are, um, you know, I hope that, um, we, we do that. Um, I agree. But yeah, it's, yeah, I, I mean, I'm a, I'm a musician, uh, I host, uh, open mics when, when things are open <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And so it, it's just, I'm a big fan and a big supporter of anything you've got going on, whether it's personally or professionally or whatever. Oh, thanks, Kurt. I appreciate that. I feel the same way. Um, about you like you said life just you know unfortunately time gets shorter as you get older that's what it seems <laughs> like um okay so how is the coronavirus affecting your weekly open mic i mean well at this point pretty much everything's closed so like how how are things going for you with the open mic business yeah they're all canceled they're all uh very least, you know, off uh, for the time being, um, and it's just, uh, it's the most frightening thing that I've ever been involved in, as it's ever happened in my life, um, mm. ever, and I, I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you or, or anybody, I'm not going to, yeah. you know, I don't think it's wise to be dishonest or, or yeah. even like that, but, you know, this is just, this is terrible, no matter even if even this that it's that it's if it's if it turns out you know okay you know like um, it's still going to be terrible at, at, at yeah best. yeah yeah um oh you said a mouthful I can't really describe how I feel because I've never felt this way before um so let's let's look at the next question um what do you plan on doing while your gigs are postponed. Well, I mean, as of right now, I would have would have just stayed working um, my day job at the law firm, but um, because I mean, literally, like as we're speaking here, March twenty first, two thousand twenty, you know, the city of St. Louis is about to be shut down. Mm. You know, and yeah. so I'm at the conclusion of this interview. I will be going home and packing my Jeep with supplies and driving up to Minnesota for the duration of whatever this, what will ultimately be a national lockdown mm. um, or a lockdown in cities. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'll ride that out with my parents and my family. Um, and, and at the worst, if it is the beginning of the end or what I'd like to think of, the beginning of, the, of a new beginning, Yeah. Um, you know, in God's grace, um, uh, and then at least I'll be with my family. I think it's wise for people if you have family or friends or somebody you can call on at this time. It's probably a good idea to call call your people and you don't necessarily want to be alone. Well, some people may, you know, it's those people out there. But for the people that would like comfort, I would definitely recommend being close to your people at this point. Um, let's see. Um, what have you been doing to take your mind off of everything? Uh, I did go on one night. I, I posted online that I didn't feel we were going to make it as humanity. And whether that was a smart thing to do, I mean, it was definitely a very emotional, um, thing to post. Yeah. Um, but I did post it and, um, I had to 
explain to people, you know, that like people called and were immediately concerned that I was thinking about suicide. And I'm mm. like, that's, that's not it at all. Yeah. I just, I just was like, um, a big thing in my life has always been like being blunt, honest about what's up. And yeah, I, I like to the point where I, I would be almost nauseous. Like if I feel like people are beating around the bush. I feel you on that. Uh, I mean, and that's one thing that I've always admired about you is I, I'm a person that likes it straight. Like, don't give me the fluff and then come with the bad news. Like, tell me straight up, like, what's what it is. So that way I'm not, you know, blindsided, you know, like, so I definitely I can appreciate that. Um, and, and you're just being honest as well. You know, it's that's just how a lot of people feel like you're not the only person that's like, man, like. What should I expect from this? Oh my goodness, is is that my nose running? Am I coughing? Like you know, people just this is just something very new for us. Um, we've yeah, it's new. Um, let's let's see. This is actually the last question. Um, what advice would you give to other indie musicians, venue owners, um, or people that you know work in the business during these unfortunate times? I would say try to search your heart and your soul, um, you know, be, look within, you know, as opposed to like focusing on, on everything that's going on externally, just, just really try to look within. Um, mm, take your time. I'm sorry. I just, I just, um, it's it, just time to come to terms with, with, I, I think our time here on earth mm. and, um, uh, whether we're, whether we're supposed to whether we survive this or not, I mean, it, it just, it's like, it's real. It just, uh, I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm sorry. I have to be so solid and so heavy in my speaking, but yeah. Um, I mean, there's no denying what I'm about to do. You know, I'm about to leave my home here in St. Louis to go be in a more rural area with my family because you feel um, more safe? I think it's the smarter move. I think living in a city, I'm in greater danger. Um, I definitely think that, like I said, wherever your family is at in the world, I would, I would prefer to be with family or to know that I have somebody that I can rely on if trouble comes my way, you know, like, I mean, you hope for the best, right? But in life, you have to prepare for the worst. So, I mean, you both, you know, we're all hopeful that this is just going to be something that blows over and, you know, and hopefully life will be a new, maybe we'll even have like a different mind frame, you know, once things kind of blow over, you know, but you have to be smart. You can't just you know, if, if everything around you is showing to be one way, like, you know, you have to kind of pay attention and, and make wise decisions. So, yeah, I I, I totally get it. It's like you got to uproot and go, but you got to do what's, what's best for you. And you can always come back, right? Once once we survive. I, I absolutely. I want to I wanna survive and come back to St. Louis as yeah. soon as, as God is willing. Yeah, yeah. I think that uh I think everything's gonna be okay. Um, you know, and like and we live in uncertainty all the time with life, you know, and grant granted, you know, I feel like every day we walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Um, you know, every day we do. But, you know, by mercy and grace we're able to go on, you know, and live on for another day. So I'm just optimistic and hopeful that we'll all be, you know, We'll be all right. And if it does come our way, I just pray that we all have the strength to endure whatever's coming our way and to overcome it. Yeah. You know? And and I pray that you are safe in your journey to Minnesota. Um, safe travels. Everything's going to be OK. Try to listen to some peaceful things. That's that's what I've been doing, trying to like just surround myself with peaceful sounds and, you know, affirmations, just Anything that can take my mind off of what's before us. Yeah. 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 Well. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ray. No, thank you. I appreciate you um, calling and talking. And like I said, I think this can really 
you know, hopefully it helped calm your nerve and hopefully it can help, you know, calm somebody else's nerves that may be like just, you know, on edge because a lot of people are on edge right now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so. Yeah. I mean, I'm just, I'm, like I said, I'm going to head home now and start packing. Uh, just yeah, but right. safe well, travels. I I get, thank you. I hope I get to see you again, and uh, thank you for everything. I love you. I love you too, Kurt. Have a safe trip.